freaking bloodhound Sniffing out some trouble, maybe I'll give you the smackdown If you step to me, we could do it Hey, it's me, your boy Back with more Earthbound Back with more Earth. Oh my god Back with more Earthbound on the Super Nintendo Just picking right up from where we left off We got a girlfriend She's with us. She's not in jail. <laughs> She's out of jail. Our girlfriend is out of jail. So the last thing, if I remember right, we got this wad. We literally, this guy gave us like $10,000, right? This wad of bills down here. I believe these dudes in the touring band from the vibe I got from, oh God, we got hit by a car. The vibe I got from the band, from the comments is that we need to give it to these guys in the band or do something with these guys because we haven't been able to. Yo, with a girl today. You must be pretty popular. How about introducing it to my bandmate? He's right there. Okay, these men, this is creepy. These are older guys. Hey, you came with Paula. Then you deserve a present, playboy. Here's a backstage pass. You can get into our shows with this. I don't have, oh, Paula got it. I was about to say, I don't have enough room for that. With that backstage pass, you can even get into our dressing room. Come with your girlfriend. We'll be waiting. Guys, this is not okay. What is Paula, like 12? These guys are like, hey, bring your girlfriend. I don't like my hair! Just so we're all on the same page, growing your hair out sucks super bad. All right, well, they didn't want the water bills. Oh, freak, here we go again with this pervy old dude taking our photos. We got these perverts, we got this pervert. Dude, leave us alone. I know, we're attractive children, okay? This is my life, everywhere I go, someone's like, gonna take a picture? I'm just kidding, that's happened one time ever. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> I'm lying. I guess I lost my ticket, so now I can't get in. The ticket counter at the department store was even... Oh, we have been in here. I remember him saying that. Hello, please present your ticket. Okay, I have a backstage pass. Is that good enough? What's up, chief? You want to see Poochie Fudd, the manager? Right through this door. I didn't even ask to speak to the manager. Maybe he, he judged by my haircut. Say, bud, the Runway 5 owe me a lot of money. They'll stay here until they pay me back. They might be here for a hundred years, unless you decide to pay off the debt. Bruh. Something tells me we're supposed to use this water bills. Take my bills. Pardon? You want to talk about money? How about later? After the show? Even if we're talking big bucks. I got definite rules about how I handle my money matters. Bro, I'm trying to hand this guy $10,000 and he's like, get at me later? The freak? Hold on, can we just hand it to the band? Hey bud, I want to pay your bill. Ness used the water bills, but nothing ha How do we watch the show? I want to see the show. I don't have a ticket, right? I have a backstage pass, though. Here, you look at this. Here you go. Hurry. You're just in time to see. <clears throat> Whoa, this room. I'm on drugs. Look at this room. Hey, you kids. How did you get tickets? What are you? The owner's kids or something? Yo, just because I'm a child doesn't mean I'm not important, too. I came here because it's tough to get in, but I'm kind of disappointed. There are no good looking waitresses. There's no room for me to show off my latest dance moves. What are you talking about? Look at all this room up here, dude. You could look this cool. Come on, Paula. Let's get it. You know. I think it's pretty tacky to entertain our company's business partner by taking him to a Runaway 5 show. But since I'm new to the company, I better just toe the line. Well, well, I got a little kid here talking to me like he's an adult. I give you one thing. You got guts, kid. They seem too proud. I mean, they just filled up this little music hall after all. Uh, if you're going to be in a band, you got to act arrogant. That's just part of the charm, okay? My boyfriend lost a ticket that I gave him. He's waiting outside. He's got butterfingers, but he's nice. Why are all these people st Oh, that's- that's a stage. I thought it was a wall. Okay. Hey, 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 hey! Don't get too close to me! I just fought it! <laughs> Sorry. Hey, at least he's honest about it. The Runaway Five are gonna be a world-famous band someday. When I sit close to the stage, sometimes I get sweat or spit on me. She likes it. Seeing the Runaway Five on stage is my life. Man, they got some groupies. You kids are bouncing around, talking to everyone. It's getting annoying. Alright, my freaking bad. La 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 la, I just love ragtime. Cool. Do you like baseball? Yes. I knew it. Your cap gave it away. What happens if I say no? No, I don't. I see. Well, you don't look like you could figure out a sophisticated game like baseball anyway. Bro, I'm gonna slap. Lucky the Runaway 5 told me I could go backstage, but I don't have a pass. I'm sure security will stop me. Hey, hey, really? You have a pass? I can't believe it. Can you take me with you, please? Please, please. I can pose as your sister. Yes, this rocks. Let's go. Oh, my heart is pounding. I didn't say- Oh, she dragged us in there. I didn't want to go in there yet. Hey, I brought two girls. You're welcome, guys. Well, yeah, in old days, there was lots of dances and acts at this theater. Except now, we're the only act playing here. We even gone into debt here, so we're pretty near stuck. <laughs> the folks of Tucson enjoy the Runaway 5 show for quite a few years, looks like to me. So they're like captive because they owe this guy money. I'm so excited. I might just wet myself. My heart is going pit- Okay, you gotta stop. Shabba doo wop. Diddly dee dap. 
Shabby dee doo wee bop wow. I got those dead blues. If I had a ten thousand dollars, I could pay off my debts and move on to the next town. I wonder if our bus still runs. It may be rusted out, so they've been here for a while. I wrote the lyrics to most of Runaway Five songs. Money, that's what I want. Money, that's what's hot. Money, that's what I want. Money, it's what we ain't got. Except freedom, freedom, freedom is what we really sought. Man, your guys' songs suck. Hey, you get to see our show, you lucky kid. I hope you pay attention. All right, don't like that guy. What's up, buddy? I want some bread. This is my kind of guy. I need the coinage. Oh, he means money. I thought he meant bread. I just want bread. Cool. Well, uh, bye. What am I supposed to do it? Oh, it's the show is starting. Yeah, that's right. Tonight, you got the Chaos Theater Soul Man coming at you. Rocking and rolling live on this here stage for a limited time only. Except for they're stuck here and they've been playing like every night because they owe us a ton of money. The world's greatest bluesman. The Runaway Five, and here they come. Oh yeah, baby! I could introduce these guys. There's no one in this club, they all left. Oh freak, these guys are legit. Turn it up, dude. They're really taking their time on this moonwalk. Oh, <laughs> come on guys, <laughs> let's hear it. <laughs> this is adorable, by the way. Whoa! What's the lyrics? Come on, hit me with it. I'm ready. Hey! These guys have never sang a word. <laughs> they just dance in front of the mics. Well, we don't know how to sing. But we sure can dance. Hey, watch me freaking prance. Gonna take off my pants. Then take them. Off my pants. The show stops. They're like, you can't just take off your pants, dude. <laughs> well, we were the only people. Oh, they're back. I guess the Super Nintendo couldn't really handle that. That right there. Oh, that was almost too much. They never sang. They're so sexy. My husband definitely has needed some help in that area. Wait, so do I need to go back? Hold on. Let's go back here again. Come in quick. Don't be shy. Okay. What's up, guys? You freaking out from that insane 30 second show you did? So what do you think? You wanna see one more sh No, that's fine. Our sound is too much for you, right? I figured. Yeah, that, that's what it is. The manager's looking for you. I wonder what he wants. It's cause I said I would give him money. Cash, that's what I want. Cash, that's what is hot. Cash, that's what I want. Hey, I just made up a new song, guys. I didn't make a spectacle of myself, did it? That's what you're supposed to do. That was a great gig. We can't be this good all the time. All right, I know I said confidence is key for band guys, but okay, they're all saying the same thing, pretty much. This guy still, he still farted. Okay, I'm leaving. Let's go talk to the manager. Excuse me, pardon me. Yeah, get the freak out of the way. What are you, what is this hat? What is that hat? It looks like you have a plate of candy on your head. Okay, here goes $10,000, the most money I've ever had. I'm just giving it away. Excuse me? What's that you got there? Let me take a real close look. I'm like, he's got, he's calling me around. We've already established that every, every adult in this world is a pervert. So I don't trust him calling us behind the desk like this. Yipes, you surprised me. No, I'm not sure what to do. I got the money, of course. And now the runway five are free to leave. I got no complaints now that I have my money. Oh, what's up boys? Well, what do you know? This little nipper took us from a nightmare to a dream. Oh, this means we can get out of this dump. I'm a good driver. Come on, I'll show you. All right, let's move on to the next town. I'm sure our hunk of junk will get us there. I didn't make a spectacle. <laughs> That's all he ever says. All right, I mean, this song this song is lit. Did we just leave now, I guess? You paid your bills. Everything is awesome. What's to say on the side of this bus? Yahoo! Yahoo! Let's go to three. Our tour bus is too loud for any ghost to bother us. Yes, take me, dude. Cause we couldn't get through the tunnel because because of the gut the but the ghosts. What the freak? Well, it really does say yahoo on the side. Of the <laughs> Ooh, hey sidewalk, get out of my way! Oh, these guys are drunk. They're like Tokyo drifting. You almost hit a dog. Be careful. In a bus with some adults I just met, and I hope they don't kidnap me and sell me to the black market. I'm sorry, mom. I'm sorry, mom. 
I'm sorry, mom. Just really wanted to leave this whole drive in the game, huh? Didn't want to want to skip any of it. That's fine. I understand. Let's see these ghosts. Get out the freaking way! Oh, he's actually chasing though. Hold on, I thought he was too loud. Ooh, they almost turned that guy into a ghost again. Y'all, this is why the, there's ghosts in this tunnel because people stand in the middle of a freaking street. Oh, it says run away when the when this pointed the other way. It says run away, run away, fight. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Looks like we have to say goodbye for now. This town seems pretty gloomy. I'm sure you can light up the place with your own little brand of sunshine. Wow, that was very nice all of a sudden. Bye. Hope to see you again sometime. Look for us to be singing at some theater in Foreside. I didn't even know there was a Foreside. Yeah, hold on. They just dropped me off in this extremely sketchy neighborhood. Look at this place. There's graffiti here. Just play it. What? Okay, is there a... There's a pizza place? I'm about to definitely go right through this trash. Let's see here. There was just plain old garbage. Gosh. Diddly dang it. Zombies and ghosts are on the loose here. Welcome to Threed. Okay. I mean, that's kind of awesome. Not gonna lie. Okay, let's save real quick. Hello there, how may I help you? What do you sell? Cold remedy, vial of serum. Sketch. Refreshing herb, a toothbrush. A calorie stick. The freak is a stick that, what? You, you could just eat food, you don't need a calorie stick. Speaking of a calorie stick. Freaking starving. Why, well, I forgot to eat breakfast. Get out of here, try to play Earthbound in here. Freaking dogs. Minor league bat. I'm very into that. A thick, thick boy frying pan. Hard hat, insecticide spray, copper brace. Okay, so we're definitely gonna get this. Minor league bat. Ooh, 59 to 70. Buy the sandlot bat. Yes, please. Ooh, I'm rich. My guy, this kid is like 11. He's got $3,400 in the bank. Give her a new weapon, even though I really don't think she's going to be using it very much. Let's also buy this insecticide spray because I have a feeling we're going to need it for some reason. Hello, ma'am. It can't be that dangerous. This old lady's walking around. How can you smile like that in a dangerous place like this? Because I'm a freaking baller, excuse me. Literally been destroying people left and right. I'm not too worried about all that. What are these empty... Was there a circus? Hey, dog, did you come out this cage? Hey. Oh! <gasps> Oh, okay, what's up? Who are you down here? What is this? Oh, there's bugs and a dog. I don't want to fight the dog. A zombie dog? Frick, we gotta kill him for sure. And then I'm gonna have her pray. A lot of people were telling me- Oh, he's dead. A lot of people were telling me you're not supposed to use the prey all the time. It's- I like to use it. Look, see? It helped, it helped a little bit. And it doesn't cost anything to use the, the prey. It does not. A mysterious aroma. He fell asleep. We all, okay, everybody's sleeping. We're taking a, a nap. See, she doesn't know any recovery is what's weird, but she's got like really good offense spells. Interesting. I'm starting to understand her character a little bit. Ooh, and she healed herself. Good job. Now let's just bash him. Just bash him, dude. Mm, that's a bad dog. Okay, Ness went up to 25. Paula went up to 10. Cool. She went up to 11. Cool. Go up again. Ooh, side free. I just want her HP to go up. That's really my big thing. Oh, I'll kill this dog too. Yo, what's up? Bash him, you pray. Oh, sorry. I didn't even... Didn't even just let you exist. Oh, it's a zombie. They have pumpkin head. Oh, pumpkin head. Oh, trick or trick, kid. It's it. Bop. 93 damage. Okay, we're all gonna go to sleep. Gosh dang it. He's asleep. He's asleep. He's up. We're sleeping. He spit pumpkin seeds. Okay, but at least she woke up. She's the only one up. I guess I'm gonna have her pray. Oh, don't kill me. Very subtle. Okay, with three HP. Wow, thanks. Should we run? She's about to die. Let's just run away. Yeah, we got away. I guess I should just be using her side because there's a butterfly literally right there. Hello, what's in this little house? Hello, anybody home? Hey, man. Yeah, I work for the zombies, but I betrayed them too. I'm a con man, so I know the score. Belch gives life to the zombies, but Belch works for Gygus, who I heard might be female. Well, I'm not really sure whether Gygus is a male or a female. I'm a helpful con man. Don't you? Yeah, I mean, you just literally told me everything. I know enough to know that Gygus is, hopefully that's how you say it, is like the final boss of the game. I don't know who this Belch guy is. No one is here now. Okay, the door is yelling at us. Wanna escape the beach if this is your big dream? 
Come to Carrollton Beach in the, in Summers. Summers Tourism. Neat. Okay, these buildings have no doors, by the way. Just none. Oh, there's a bug in there, but they're not going to fight us. The graveyard, probably a good place to level up. I'm assuming there's going to be all kind. Oh, boy. A couple of ghosts in a trash can. What the freak? Oh, zombie possessor and its cohorts. Okay, here's what's going to happen. We're about to ruin these guys' lives. Putrid moldy man. I'm going to smack him with Ness. And then Paula. Let's see. I think PSI Thunder hits everybody. Let's see. Oh, 21. Why do they always hit Paula, dude? You're so annoying. Let's see it. Okay, that only hit one guy. Never mind. Paula's freaking dead. She has died. I have no way to... I don't have anything to revive people, do I? Oh, this is going badly. We gotta use side dogs, dude. He's possess He possessed me! What does this do? Oh, it still killed everybody. That's cute. Okay, he's dead. This guy's dead. Are you dead? He's dead, but I'm possessed, right? That's not good. Yeah, look, he's... Oh, crap. Can I... Can I heal it away? Let's see if we can heal it away. Unpossess me. It had no visible effect. Freaking gosh. Dang it. We gotta go to like an exorcist. Where's the hospital in this place? Welcome to the circus. The freak. I'm going to the hospital, guys. Hold up. Everyone chill. Can you get, can you get the ghost? Okay, I want you to get rid of one ghost, please, and then save the other one. Purify? I need to charge you seven. This better work. Oh, I did it. Okay, now will you heal my dead girlfriend again? $120, that robbing me blind. Okay, thanks. Guess I'm just gonna have to, to level them up. Just gonna have to destroy as many of them as it takes. It's none of your business that we have a small house. Just keep all that whispering quiet. Y'all are weird. People are weird. What's up, buddy? Zombies and ghosts are on the loose here, so I can't get to Two Center Foresight. Maybe the hidden road in the graveyard is safe. Thanks for the info, idiot. I overheard the zombies whisper, Master Belch will give us our lives back. Master Belch is a zombie leader. He must be really pukey. <laughs> pukey. I like that. Horses say nay, but the hint shop says yay to giving you a hint. Eagle and Hint Union. Wow, what a great advertisement. Hey there, bud. You want to die? Oh, you're awfully kind taking your time out to talk to a mouse. This mouse loves you. That's adorable. I was prepared to kill you. Hey, you don't look so happy. You better cheer up or you'll become a zombie. Some people have already become tools of the zombies. Well, that's not okay. Hey, a zombie. Oh, she was screaming. I thought she was like, hey. Hold on. Let's see if this is a real trash can or a bad guy trash can. Teddy bear. Oh, that's really good. Now let's death. Okay, there was a, I don't know who threw this away. These are super expensive. Now let's go in here and try to fight some people. Ooh, freak. When you become a zombie, are you required to take your freaking shirt off? Or maybe you guys were swimming when you became zombies? To one row of foes. This will hit them both. Heck yeah. Bop. Ooh, didn't work on the teddy bear though, did it? Thank you, teddy bear. Yeah, I don't care if we use the fire. That was really loud. Okay, bash him and then pray. Dang it, it missed. Thank you, teddy bear. Healed me up a little bit that I didn't need. Just bash him, he's dead. Return to the dust of the earth. 700, that'll level up, yes. Yes, 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 we need to just keep doing this. Can you leave us alone? For five seconds. How many photos of us do you have? I'm literally behind a tree. This photo sucks. Fuzzy Pickles! Get the freak out of here. I don't want to see your face again. Are you sure there's no problem here? Because why would this be off all by itself? It's kind of weird, right? We can't go back in this little secret. Can we go along the fence line? Ooh, I can. Where does this go? I feel very secret back. Okay, it goes back to where we were. I always expect there to be a secret everywhere. And there's just not. And it sucks. Hi, who wants to fight? This town has like this huge zombie problem and I can't find one to fight. Seems like y'all are fine. I hope I don't accidentally find like the boss of this area. Oh, it's a bug. Oh, and that trash can made a move. Bah, he dead. Three HP. Oh, my teddy bear is dead. That sucks. Let's pray. Can you just die? Just smack him, guys. There, he's dead. Putrid moldy man. All right, I think I've checked every gravestone in this entire town. I'm pretty sure I checked all of it. Do not enter. Okay, that's not, it actually says don't enter, but thank you. Oh, here's another whole wing in the graveyard. Tight. 
Whoa, three flies in a trash can? You're kidding me. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna split it up smart. Ness is gonna bash this guy. Paula is going to fire the whole front row. Maybe these guys are weak to fire, I hope. Oh, uh, don't, don't hit, don't, don't hit my girlfriend. Thank you, hit me. Hit me, not her! Stop hitting! You're dead. 68, 85, 75, they're still alive. But her next one should kill them. Paula? Fire! That moldy man guy, he has so much health. You're dead. Look, Paula just got a triple kill! Nice job. Freaking, stop hitting, stop killing my girlfriend, you're so annoying. Good lord. Yeah, Ness is enraged about that. You killed her! What are you doing back here, bud? Shh, don't talk too loud. What do you want? Ooh, what do you have? I've got what you need. Toy air gun, a bomb, a bottle rocket, and a rust promoter. I'll remember. I'll remember that you have this stuff. I don't know what I could do with it, but I'll remember that you're back there, buddy. Hi. Yes, yeah, sorry. She died again. Um, and look, you're fine. Yay. I'm going to go with a croissant. Two croissants. <clears throat> Bye. Oh, here you go, bud. Oh, who was that? It was like a kid hiding under a pile of trash. Oh, what the freak? Handsome Tom. That is legitimately pretty creepy. Haven't used uh, Psy Freeze yet. Let's use the, be the beta one. I just want to see what it's like. Brain shock. Ah, didn't work on me. Take that. Are you frozen? No, but you're freaking dead. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Yay! Good job, Paula. Here's this circus. I guess we'll take a Is this where the zombies are going to be? Let me talk to the other people out front. Yeah, what do y'all got to say? I'm so scared of the zombies. I spent all my time running from them. I can't even get home. I would help you if you really needed that. There's a rumor that there's an underground path at the edge of the graveyard that takes you somewhere. When you get through the path, you'll meet a dirty, stinky, ugly, powerful monster. I wet my pants just think- Everyone's peeing themselves this episode. This town seems very dark, right? The people are mostly living at the center of town. I wonder how we should get the town back from the zombies. Leave it to me! Trust me, I'm nine years old and I'm ready to murder. So they're just hanging out. This does not look like a very good circus. How can we defeat the zombie? Uh, I just, I don't know. The zombies are slowly advancing towards the tent. Everyone, I repeat, the zombies are on the move. I'm glad you're going to help us, but you're pretty young. Maybe I won't help you then. Why don't we get all the zombies in this tent and then set it on fire? We may all get munched before we have a chance to do anything. That's actually a really good idea. Lure the zombies to the tent, set the tent on fire, accidentally burn the whole town down. Freaking idiot. So pretty much everyone has been telling us that we have to go through this, whatever this weird path is by the graveyard. That's what we need to be finding. Because, oh yeah, there's a bug up there. Let's go fight the bug. Let's go fight the bug. Let's go fight the bug. Oh, I see you trash cans. Come on. Oh, smelly ghost. I've never seen you before. Man, there's all kinds of monsters and trash cans out here. Nest bash the putrid moldy man. Paula can go ahead and fire. Fire. I wish you'd quit hitting Paula. Why do you need to hit Paula? So the fire does not hurt those moldy man guys like at all, but Ness is gonna smack them. Paula, I'm gonna have her pray. Maybe we'll get the healing one. Hurry up and pray, Paula. <sighs> yes, with the clutch, dude. Paula did it as she was dying, her dying breath. She prayed herself seven HP, nice job. Okay, Ness, you're gonna have to really Stop screwing around here because she's about to die. Uh, Paula, you wanna eat that croissant? This guy's dead. Paula ate a croissant. She's feeling great. Freeze A. I wanna see how much that does. Stop hitting her! How's that feel? 62? Not very good. Let's bash him. 52. 31. She does 1 HP. Why did I buy her a weapon again? Stop! He's dead. He's dead. Still don't see where this secret path could be. Come here, bud. Oh, that's just a regular trash can? Insecticide spray. Okay. Oh, I bet we can use it on these guys. Ness, use the bug spray. If this guy in the back is strong against fire, right? Let's see what happens when we freeze him. Maybe he'll be weak against it. Bro, the bug spray is awesome. It just destroyed their whole row. And it does a ton of damage. 
The freeze did great damage. All right, so Ness is gonna bash this freaking trash, Mr. Oscar the Grouch out here. Paula is going to pray. He's dead. Dazzling light. He felt a little strange. We're crying. Someone in the comments said you actually do more damage when you're crying, which I, I thought was weird. Paula, it just says she feels weird. I don't know what the deal with that is. Ooh. She did 55 HP that time? I thought she did 1 HP damage. I can't keep up with you guys anymore. Hey, Ness leveled up. Paula's level 14, baby. We got eight. Oh. Hey, hey guys, y'all guarding the... He stares into your soul. He looks you over. What, that's it? What do I... Let me through here. Hey, guys. Just fight them. Are you kidding me? I guess we need something that the old boys want. I don't have anything that they want. So how do I get by... What about this? Can we go... Let's sneak through the trees. Well, I found the secret path that we can't get into. Because no one will let me by. Ugh, I hate when the bad guys don't let you just walk by. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Uh, I'll also say... Oh! Who is this pretty lady going into the hotel that we followed? This doesn't seem right. Something is not gonna... Guys, use the phone. Freaking save the game real quick because this is about... <laughs> we're about to get kidnapped. Okay, let's go in here and whatever happens, happens, I guess. Hey... Oh my gosh, I'm going to this bathroom instead. What's going on? Hey, bud, what's, what's the deal? Oh, it's not a bathroom at all. Be careful while walking around outside, especially near the graveyard. I'm not worried about that. Did you not see this woman out here, though? Hold up. Uh, here we go, guys. Oh, my gosh. Freaking crap. It was like every kind of zombie in there. Ooh, that's not good. They broke my neck. Oh, oh, you're losing consciousness. What could be the fate of Ness and his friend? Find out next week on Dragon Ball Z. Bro, we got locked up. This is not okay. Yeah, Ness got up first. Come on, come on, come on. Not, they don't say a word to each other. And then we have a secret dance party. That hurts my thumb. The door's locked. Of course it is. Uh-oh, Paula, what'd you get? Use your abilities. Unlock, unlock the door. I'm calling out to you who I've never met. I'm calling our friend who we've never met. Jeff, my name is Jeff. We need your help. I am Paula and I'm with another friend, Ness. We are trying to contact you. Are we going to control Jeff now? Where is Jeff? Jeff is way out here. Winters, a small country to the north. This is so cool. What the heck? How did I never play this game? Dude, it's like so good. I was too busy playing outside like an idiot. Snowwood boarding house. Jeff is that little uh, rich looking kid, right? With the blonde hair. I am Paula and I'm with another friend, Ness. We are trying to contact you. If you hear me, please wake up and head south. Only you, though far away, can save us, Jeff. Please hear my call and begin heading south. Jeff, you are a friend who we've never met, but you are one and only hope. Poor Jeff. I'd go back to sleep. I'd be like, weird dream. My name is Jeff. Jeff, I just dreamed that you and I were taking a walk. What's wrong? Let me take all these tools, I guess. Oh, what's up? Jeff, where are you going in the middle of the night? You wear your hat to bed? You know the dorm rules, right? If you get caught, you'll get punished big time. They're in like a private school. What's wrong, Jeff? All right. There must be some reason I don't understand. I won't stop you, but it's dangerous to leave without taking anything along. I think there's some stuff in the locker room you should get. I'll help you get out of here. You have a good friend. Tony. Hey, it's Tony. Oh, we don't want these tools? All right. This is so cool. Oh, everyone's up. It's the middle of the night. What y'all doing? I heard a creature called Tessie lives in the southern lake. I don't believe it. I think someone made a model and placed it in the lake. No, it's probably real. It's a Lapras. I heard a more interesting story than the rumor about Tessie. It's about the cave boys at Stonehenge. Many claim to have actually seen them. Hold on, do I have anything? I got a big bottle rocket, a boiled egg, a protractor, a ruler, and a broken spray can. Okay, so this guy carries around a bunch of crap. Oh, unfortunately, unlike Ness, I only got $2. This song is great. I wonder if the rumor is true that the center of Stonehenge has an entrance leading someplace. Someday we should check it out. I'm sleepy. I'll wash my face, brush my teeth, do my business, and go to bed. Thank you for sharing. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Whoa. Is it Christmas? 
If you're going outside, stop by and say hi to Maxwell before you leave. He always looks out for the younger students. Maxwell is still working hard in the lab downstairs. Anyways, these days there are many dangerous animals wandering around outside. Okay. What's up, cool guy? I'm so sleepy. Tony's birthday party is tomorrow. I hand decorated each cookie to pass out at the party tomorrow. Hold up, so can I have these though? Oh my gosh, we're opening Tony's presents. There's a cookie. I feel like, hold on, I'm gonna go talk to Tony and make sure it's okay for us to take all these presents because I mean, it's kind of not cool, right? It's his birthday. He gets a bunch of empty boxes. Ah, uh, yeah, actually Jeff came through here and uh, took all the cookies. Oh, Jeff and Tony, you startled me. Are you looking for a late night snack? I'm having some trouble with my project. If only Jeff's father, Dr. Ann Donuts, was here, <laughs> he'd be able to provide a great deal of help. I heard he's an astounding person. He was the first leader of our ultra science club. I heard he's greater than Einstein or Heisenberg. Breaking Bad? Rumor has it he's also very strange. If you're heading to the locker room, take this key along. It's a little bent though. You got a broken key that ain't gonna do nothing. If you leave, comment, I'll record your adventure. It's like saving the game. So we're straight playing as Jeff now. My name is Jeff. Locker room, all right. Locked, locked, locked. Key is bent. Bro, why don't you just automatically let me try it in each one? Why do we have to go in the menu? Stuff like this bothers me so much. So we need to unbend this key. I just tried it in all of them. It doesn't freaking work. So maybe there's a, was there a workbench upstairs? There were some tools in his room. Maybe we can bend it back with that. Also, Tony didn't say anything about these cookies, so I feel like I'm gonna go ahead and take them. I'm like a cookie monster, bro. I I'm gonna have all these cookies. Sorry, Tony. We can use this, right? Let's uh, use the key to the locker with the tools. Guys, come on. That's gotta be... You ain't got nothing to say about this bent key? The key didn't work, did it? I thought that might be the case, so I just invented the machine that opens doors, especially when you have a slightly bad key. Sorry for the inconvenience. Jeff got the bad key machine. If you are Dr. Ann Donut's son, you should be able to repair small tools and make them useful. Just try to keep a positive attitude. Yeah, I that's what I was saying. Jeff should know. All you gotta do, you just freaking, just to use the little thing, bend the key back. I mean, sure, you might break it in half, but you also might fix it. Okay, cool. Now we can break into people's homes. Broken air gun. Can I equip that? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> My entire inventory is full of these cookies, man. I would throw away a cookie, but I don't like to waste cookies, so I'm just gonna eat one. Great, okay, now let's get this pop gun. Let's take the pop gun, see if it'll let me equip this hoe. Yup, two to 18, amazing. And I think the Holmes hat was right here. Eat another cookie! Bro, I straight stole a bunch of cookies and I'm just eating them for no reason. Take that hat my boy put it on the head 12 defense now okay we're strapped i'm gonna have to wrap it up soon but i want to see what's out here for show for show so how are we gonna get out oh we we're gonna boost over the top hold on me just stay there i'm gonna look around what a good guy dude this kid is awesome okay now use me as a step and climb over the gate well i'll say goodbye for now i don't know where you're going or why but remember we are best friends forever bro you should came with me to escape it was great use my friend to jump over the gate my name is jeff i am the best i know how to dress and i like to mess around with my little blonde hair hey look there's a shop over there <laughs> <laughs> who is this little monkey kiki yeah okay i like this guy i don't know who he is though there's a monkey at the entrance. Take the monkey. He's really noisy. If you buy a pack of bubble gum, you could have the monkey for free. Otherwise, he will cost you a buck. So do you want him? Yes, I do want him. Oh, you can't carry anything else. Why don't you return after you get... Sure, one second. Uh, eat another cookie. Why did I steal all the... Yes, let's buy the monkey. Thanks, the monkey's yours. Yes! You, Jeff got the pack of bubble gum. What about... No, but you're my monkey now. Q Uki, give me some gum. The monkey got a piece of bubble gum from Jeff and blew a bubble. Hey, come back here. Uh-oh. Dude, he's crazy. Can we use that to fly over gaps now, you think? Bubble monkey. <laughs> Naturally, 
He's the bubble monkey. I mean, duh. Unfortunately, although I am very intrigued about the bubble monkey situation, I've got to go ahead and end this one here. Uh, these videos tend to get way, way, way too long. Uh, I just want to play it more often instead of making super long videos once every two weeks. Like, that's no fun. Anyways, guys, I love you. Thank you so much for being here. As always, leave the tips in the comments. I actually check them, especially these earthbound ones. They're so helpful because there's a lot of stuff I don't know. Anyways, guys, I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Keep your chin up, work hard, and believe in yourself because I believe in you. See you in the next video, and as always, have a bye-five.